In today's video, we're going to check out the Latham Wave electric toothbrush. This is an app-connected toothbrush that comes in at a very good price. The really nice thing about it is we're able to control not only the intensities, the different modes we have in there, it comes with three brushes included in the package and you're able to, of course, get additional ones. But at the end of the day, does this compete in the price point that it's coming in? Does it provide us a better value than some of the other options we have on the market? Well, in today's video, we're gonna to try to answer those questions. So this is the Latham Wave electric toothbrush. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So in front of us is the actual package. This is the actual toothbrush itself. It does come with a cap and there's a few toothbrushes that are also included in there. On the side, we have just the name of the company and then when we switch it over here, we get to see again, it's the Latham Wave electric toothbrush. It is app connected and it does here, you can see here the battery capacity is 900 milliampere built into this and it is including a charger in there that we'd be able to charge it in about two and a half hours. Now, as far as the contents in the box, it's pretty straightforward. We we obviously have the user guide, a quick start guide, and of course a warranty card. There's three brushes that are included in the box. There is the blue one, which is for super cleaning, the gray one that's going to be basically for gum care, and the purple one is for ultra whitening. So depending on the brush that you're trying to use, we'll get different results. And of course, we do have the magnetic charger. It is a USB-C charger. We'll go ahead and let it focus real quick. You can see it's right there, USB-C, and it is magnetic three pin connectors to the bottom of the actual brush. And it is strong enough to actually hold the brush in case you need to be able to hang the cable for some reason or another, but it actually is strong enough to do so. It will charge the, uh, the battery that we have in here. As we saw before, it's a 900 milliampere battery, and it'll take about two and a half hours to be able to go from zero to 100%. We have three LEDs positioned here on the top with one touch button that gives us the ability of changing between on and off, and the ability of actually double tapping it and that'll change. You see here, it's level two and level three. Unfortunately, they're a little bit faded, so it's hard with the room here being very bright, but it definitely is very easy to see. We'll definitely get a chance to check that out in the app. Of course, this is the brush head, and so we're gonna go ahead and just mount it. It's pretty straightforward as far as how you put it on. Just align it directly with the front and go ahead and push it in. It is very sturdy, very strong, and will not fall. You can see here, there's a little bit of information here. It's the uh, US size Lathan again, as you can see here with the name, this is the purple one. And everything else is pretty straightforward. Just pressing on it, turn this on. You can see it's oscillating at level three and you can turn it off. Other than that, it is waterproof. Definitely no issue with that. And of course, very easy to charge and very easy to keep clean. It looks nice and it's very sleek. Now, as I mentioned to you guys before, this is app connected. So we do have an app that you're able to download directly. I downloaded mine directly from the Google Play Store. You see here the device is connected and the LED does change a little bit blue, letting us know now it's connected via Bluetooth. One thing to mention though, you are able to put uh, the actual brush into airplane mode. So press and hold on it for about two seconds or so you'll see here that there was that little bit of an icon here that looked like an airplane. Let's go ahead and go into it. And that turns on flight mode. And of course, if you wanna just turn that off, you can turn it off in the app or you can turn it off directly by pressing the actual button again for two seconds. I logged in, set up my configuration. You're able to actually turn the brush on and off directly with the button on there. You can see the battery percentage. You can see the connection status, the flight mode. We have a 30 second reminder and we do also have a high frequency mode that gives us the ability of jumping into a fourth mode that changes the configuration. And this is where it gets very nice. Like you're actually able to jump between each one. Although unfortunately there is no four LED here. There's only three. So when you go into the fourth mode, you notice what it does. It removes the center one, giving us the indicator that this is option four. This you will need to turn on in the app. It does not come pre-configured onto the brush. And of course, you're able to jump over between each one and configure all the different options that you want. And if there is a software update, let's go ahead and go down. We'll go back out. There is here uh, one option here to calibrate the actual toothbrush. And the other option is to check the firmware. And as you can see here, there is no update. Now, one thing to keep in mind is obviously if you have more than one toothbrush, you're able to go in here. And there is a little bit of a setting section to be able to basically update the app or if you want to delete your account. I will say one thing. You notice that these technically are considered to be presets. What I mean to say is this is out of the box. If I wanted to reset everything, I can just go ahead and say reset all the options. This is how it would be out of the box. And level four, of course, would be the highest. But let's say I actually wanted to be a little bit more customized. You're actually able to go in there and change the presets that are in there. So I can go down to vibration level three and you can see here that it remembers it and it goes in and keeps it every time I switch over. So I go from one, two, three to four and everyone will stay the same. And if you ever forget what the standard configuration is, just hit the little reset, click OK, it takes it back in here. If you don't feel like you're going to be using the level four, you can also disable it under, under high frequency. And that will basically go back to just the standard one, two, and three. Last but not least, of course, you're able to customize how long you want the brush to go every time you go into a brushing session. Two minutes is out of the box. If you'd like to go further or more or less, this will be where you can go ahead and edit that. 
But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's a straight up, easy to configure toothbrush that you're able to basically just use and of course, clean your teeth with it. It goes without saying that this is a toothbrush. So let's go ahead and explain how long I've been using it. So I've had the toothbrush with me for the last three weeks and I've been using it on a daily basis to clean my teeth. And depending on what I'm trying to do, I use a different toothbrush because I think that's the configuration that we get in the box. There's three that are included in the package. So you're right out of the box, you're ready to go. And of course you're able to buy additional ones in packs of either three or six. And they're actually pretty competitively priced compared to some of the other options on the market. But at the end of the day, the way I look at this is actually is very nice. It's small, it's light, and it's easy to configure. And the battery lasts forever. I, I will say this, in the duration of the three weeks that I've had, I actually only had to charge it once. And that was just before we started the video because I didn't want to show you guys a, a toothbrush that was basically dead or no battery in it. Uh, there is an indicator on it again, so you'll always know if the battery is running really low and charging it again, very, very nice and very simple. You configure it, connect it, and it hangs. Literally, you could charge it with you everywhere. I like the fact that it is a USB-C connector because then I can connect it to my PC. I can connect it to a wall charger and then charge it up right away, and it works just the same. Obviously, the fastest will be with a wall connector, but you know that just goes without saying there. So let's talk about usage and, of course, uh, how it has been basically using this toothbrush. Um, I'll say this, of basically vibrations and of course the motor that we have in here is a very powerful motor. The three options that we have in here, it depends on how much cleaning or how much cleaning power you want. It does technically go pretty up there with a 6.1 watt configuration on the motor. So that's going to be on the high frequency, pushing it all the way. And it does go 60 degrees oscillation on the brush head. So when you're using it on your mouth, obviously I'll say this, they do recommend you making sure to put the toothpaste on it and make sure that it's in your mouth before you turn it on because the oscillation is so strong. The first time I did that, I didn't do that. And it actually started just throwing the toothpaste all over the place and, and it just, it's it's not fun. Uh, but as you can see here in the video, it works really nice. It's very clean and very easy uh, to use. You put it in, you can brush the teeth from the front to the back. It gets into every single little nook and cranny. And of course, once you're done, you know, depending on how your regimen is, you can basically gargle or you can keep the fluoride in there, uh, depending on what your toothpaste is recommending. But what I really like about this is the fact that it's so powerful and it's such a small package and it is very nice and very minimalistic in design. Like everything in here for the most part runs off that one button and it is basically just a combination of touches, press and holds, and of course switching between the different options is very easy. And when you're done, you can either keep the toothbrush head on it and throw it in your bag when you're traveling or for better, more compact configuration, of course, remove the toothbrush head, put the toothbrush head back in the holder or the carrier, and then put this in uh, your suitcase and it just runs really good. Switching between the modes is very simple and you can feel the difference in the motor. The vibration is very strong. And I like the configuration that we get in here. Again, it's simple, it's easy, and it's connected. If there's an update to this, you can definitely update it through the app. If it doesn't need anything, for the most part, you can do everything on the actual toothbrush. Or if you do want to turn on that higher level four option that doesn't come by default, I think this is where the app just takes it to the next level. So. I do want to say thank you very much to Leifen for checking out or sending me this unit to be able to check it out and of course share with you guys my experience. And if you're looking for, a, I will say this, an affordable toothbrush, an electric toothbrush that provides you app connection, gives you the ability of using multiple different heads, of course, they do offer them in the box and of course you can get more but also gives you everything like that in an affordable price point by comparing it to some of the other options on the market. They're doing it really good and of course uh, they're kicking it out of the park with that. Uh, just last but not least, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on the pricing. Uh, if you just want to buy three different brushes that, or the three additional brushes, those are basically going to be at $9.99. If you want to buy six brushes, they're $16.99, which technically is $17. And it is easily available compared to some of the other options on the market. Uh, and the price that I saw as I'm, as I'm making this video for you guys, uh, it was $69.99 on Amazon with a 10% discount, which means you save another seven bucks roughly on top of that. So making this even closer to 60 bucks than some of the options on so making it closer to about 60 bucks or so uh, when you consider some of the other options on the market. But with that being said, thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And of course, I will see you in the next video.